Greetings fellow Empyreans, I am Ashrathi and this is a requested video. I was asked to make a video about uh, my PI setup or how to set up robotics in Fleet. so this is what I do. Uh, we will start with my lava planet. I had just placed down my structures. So first of all, I usually pick the rarer of the two metals that I need, which in this case it's going to be non-CS crystals and heavy metals. Non-CS crystals is lower, so I, I scan by that, and you can see that there's this major hotspot here. So then I scan the other one and see that there's plenty of hotspots, so this is going to be my place that I plant down. I place everything as tight as possible because uh, basically as you make these links, you can see that it actually increases the cost depending on the length of the links. So you don't want things spread out because the longer your links, you're just throwing away power. So I use my structures to actually build a chain as you can see here. So then I go here to my rarer metal, um, which in this case is non-CS crystals, and I pop all of them open and I set it to one day. I set it to one day because um, that's just how I like to do it. Some people want to be more passive, some people want to be less. The goal for me is uh, 24,000. I don't necessarily have a good reason for why it's 24,000. I just know that's what I was told um, when I first started playing was kind of like the cutoff to make the, the number of factories that I'm using work. Anything in excess of that is fine. Because I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, but kind of 24k in an hour is considered to be like a fully efficient planet. Any more than that and you're getting stockpile. Any less than that and you're losing cycle time. So I'm going to just put all of them up here in the, in the white. Um, and I get 38,000 which is way more than I need which is great. So I'm going to install that program. And then go over here to this one. And start scanning heavy metals. Now I'm going to make as many as I can. Usually I get, yeah, I get all but two of them. That's fine. So in this case I actually might end up with less of the more common metals, but that's fine because like you can always get the more common metals and as this is a fresh moved place and actually I can, uh, I can change my scan a little bit so that I get a better idea as to where exactly the resources are. As I was saying, um, as time goes on, uh, usually it's the rare resources that are harder to kind of continue to move around and get. So as I like get lazy throughout the week, see, I still get 37,000, so I'm fine. Never mind. But as I go throughout the week, the, uh, the, the more common metal will, or the more common material will dry up, whereas the more, sorry, the more rarer material will dry up, the, or the more common material will remain. So then I set these up. Um, so for chiral uh, for um, non CS crystals, it's chiral structures, and I have notes with all of these things that I refer to all the time. It, but really, you're making if I I've been making the same product for so long, um, and then the heavy metals would be toxic metals. So then you have to route everything. I route everything to my warehouse. You don't have to use a warehouse. This is one of those things that you're actually sacrificing a little bit of efficiency for just the a catching power. Uh, if you don't use a warehouse, what ends up happening is that if you let it go for too long without clearing it out, it'll actually back up and fill it up, and so you're losing some of your material that you're extracting. Especially when you're doing this like 36K, you need to have a good buffer. So uh, they dump right back into that same buffer. And then there's the advanced factory. The advanced factory in this case is going to be making um, electronic parts. Sorry, consumer electronics. And then this is going to get routed actually to the starport because that's our finished product. And then I just come here and... Uh, I'm going to route these to where they belong. Hold on. Oh, I, I have not yet. I actually haven't routed my, my inputs yet. That's a mistake. So route your inputs. There is a chance if your inputs are too high that it'll blow out your, uh, your line. That's the only time that I ever recommend you upgrade one of these lines. 
and then only the one that they tell you to. Again, that's basically wasted power grid otherwise. So then I take these and I reroute them into the um, into the factory. So basically everything goes from the extractor to the warehouse, from the warehouse to the factory, from the factory to the warehouse, to, from the warehouse to the advanced factory, and then from the advanced factory to the starport. So all goods get shipped into and out of the warehouse, um, except for the final product. And when they say that uh, PI is a click fest, this right here is what they mean, in case you're curious. So chiral structures, create route to the advanced factory, and then one last one should be toxic metals, create route to the advanced factory, create route. And that should just about do it. So that is what it looks like uh, once it's been set up correctly. I would recommend you come back in like a half an hour to an hour to make sure everything's running well. Um, now let's check out my other planet just to see kind of what you, what it looks like on the barren side. Again, this is, uh, I just put this together. And this scan is, this has a way more, less of the material, so lower numbers, but again, you can see it's, it's one of the biggest hotspots on the planet. Everything's nice and tight together. And it's basically the exact same setup. Just uh, building mechanical parts instead of consumer electronics. And then the key to it all is on my final planet. Here, up here is an entire factory for um, mechanical parts. And down here is a factory for consumer electronics. So every day... I siphon all of the excess material, send it up to the POCO, bring it over here and drop it down here so that the factory planet can crack, crank on it to give me maximum um, potential extraction, right? Because the more, uh, the more power grid you use on factories, the less you have on extraction. And extraction is basically where your money is. So, um, so this is the key. Every day I extract from these two planets I siphon them off, off the excess, and I bring it over here, drop them down, and this cranks through them slowly but surely over days, and then drops it into here where there is advanced industry facilities that are creating robotics out of the mechanical parts and consumer electronics. So all of the uh, materials to build the mechanical parts go down this one. All of the ones to build uh, con consumer electronics go here. Um, then mechanical parts and consumer electronics collect here and then get processed through these facilities and robotics gets spat out here. Oh, and actually it looks like I actually, uh, sometimes I get backed up and this is where I keep my backup. So good. I, so this is, uh, base metals and noble metals. I have noble metals here already. So I'm just going to drop down the base metals and see if I have any other more noble metals. And I'm going to just drop down those two. So this is still cranking. I haven't, I don't touch this all the time. In fact, it, my, my factory has been laying pretty much fallow for a day or two and uh, it's been needing to be moved for almost a week. Uh, but yet I'm still backed up because this, if this system is so efficient. So um, yeah, I'm just going to move down more CS crystals and heavy metals and toxic metals. And then here, I drop down the consumer electronics and the mechanical parts. And then what I do is I just do an expedited transfer to move these over to here. This is actually how I uh, siphon things off too. If I have extras, I expedite transfer them uh, where they belong. And so now, as you can see, all these factories are cranking now, except for these advanced factories. They'll, it'll, they'll get to them soon. Um, but these are the two that make robotics. And as long as these things are cranking, I'm making at least 12 million a day. I think I make about 6 million per one of these that are cranking every day. Um, and so that's basically it. Uh, and then these setups here, these two planet setups, I could probably continue these without moving it at, for at least a week. Um, 
and then uh, it takes me about another 20 minutes to fiddle with it. So this is basically my PI. This is what I do. Uh, there are other options. Uh, you can just build mechanical parts. Uh, I mean, um, yeah. Uh, you can build stuff off of the gas planet because I know uh, they need some stuff from there. Uh, there's a lot of good options. So that's, but this is what I do. Uh, if you want to know anything else, if you have any other questions for me or things that you would want me to explain or show, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment or tweet me at Ashtarothy or just go ahead and get in contact with me in the FedUp Discord. Until next time, I'll see you in space.